Welcome back to Front of the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with another box of 2021-2022 Premiere. Uh, this is, if you guys don't know, once again, uh, a $300 Canadian. I've seen them, some people saying like $325, $340. Um, but my local hobby shop is $300 plus tax. Uh, it is one single pack, once again, just like Ultimate, just like Stature, just like a lot of these products. One single pack, six premium cards in it. Uh, you're going to get a rookie patch auto in this. You're going to get a second auto in this. And then uh, one of the other big chases is like the patch cards. They have like the mega patches and stuff like that. Big, big chase for these. Um, turn the camera around, right into it. I said, pretty good checklist. This is 21-22. Obviously, you know, next week we're going to have 23-24 Series 1 come out. Um, so that's a big thing. No, it does not have Connor Bedard in it. Uh, you're looking for other guys like Luke Hughes, the, the third Hughes brother. Uh, you're looking for uh, Devin Levi, um, uh, Jacob Pelche, former Wilkin Wildcat. A uh, bunch of guys like that. Dustin Wolf, Askarov. Who's the other big guy? Matthew Nyes is in it from the Maple Leafs. So lots of people coming out in that. I'm going to have a video on that and like kind of probably my top 10 or top 15 uh, players. I'll probably release that for, say, Monday or so uh, before the actual release date for the actual product uh, on Wednesday, which I will be getting first thing Wednesday morning and opening up uh on the channel as soon as possible give you guys a first look at series one but here we go it's getting six cards it's not a thick box number on the box in case anybody's wondering now since i've oh it does have 33 in it that might not be a good thing 3351 the last box I opened was 3385 did not treat me well so who would have wore 51 33 works out. That's my that's Patrick Wall, so that's my guy. Um, the 51, not really sure off the top of my head. There we go. So there we go. Get a look here. There's the thick boy there. Not a thick jersey card. So we'll get right into it though. So we got Aho there. Go to the back. Zach Jones. Is our first jersey card. Just a little jersey. I don't know if that's a hair or a thread or something. There goes Zach Jones for the Rangers. Laffy getting the first goal for the uh getting the first goal for the Rangers last night. Start the season off. So we got the Aho. These are numbered out of 299. There we go. Sebastian Aho. See what they can do. They took it to the Ottawa Senators on night one. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, uh, I put made this post on Instagram too. Check out my um, uh, eBay store. Lots of stuff on there. If you guys ever see anything on my eBay store uh, and want to do a deal off eBay on like Instagram or something, my Instagram is down below too. You can always message me on Instagram. So uh, we got, I revealed that. Out of 399, we got Cole Sillinger there. I don't know if anybody else was paying attention to that. Cole Sillinger, the 242 out of 399. Actually, he's like slated on the first line. They talked about this guy maybe going down to the AHL before the start of the season. It was AHL or, you know, NHL, who knows. Uh, it was on the depth chart for the first line, which is just wild. Uh, we will go to the back. <laughs> this is going to be kind of funny. Uh, Jamie Drysdale, rookie gear, 17 out of 99. There we go. couple, two color there, two color there, two color there. So a bunch of different colors here in the rookie gear. A guy that they're excited for. Uh Olin Zellweger uh, got sent down to the AHL this year. I thought maybe he might make it. Uh, I picked Olin in one of my fantasy dynasty leagues. Uh, he is not going up, though, so he went on my little IR AHL thing. But there we go, Jamie Drysdale. 
Yeah, I'm always willing to do deals. Uh, I get people to message me on stuff all the time, buying, selling, trading, whatever it is. You know, the whole everyone's heard all these from every other YouTuber, but uh, we got these stars. And it's the gold. So that's a pretty. Oh, that is a nasty patch. Jamie Drysdale, star system rookie. Man, these these acetates just front at the finish on them jeez but look at that patch that patch is just filthy and this is numbered out of 75 i thought this is gonna be 25 27 out of 75 why do i think these were out of 25 i thought the golds are out of 25s maybe for the not for rookies? I don't know. Jamie Drysdale in the big. So that's a nasty, nasty patch. Throw him in a sleeve real quick. The backdrop. But no, excited for Series 1. Uh, I did also pre-order uh, four boxes, uh, four bundles of 2022, 20, 23, or 23, 24 Series 1 and Series 2 bundles uh, from my local hobby shop. Uh, they finally had a pre-order set up. So, ordered those. Um, my buddy also ordered some that I'm going to be able to open up his boxes eventually when Series 2 when the Bedard chase comes up. Uh, I'm going to be able to open up those on the channel in January, February when that comes out. Uh, but this Wednesday coming up, I will have, like I said, a full breakdown, for, full first look like I always do for you know products that I think are worth it. Um, I kind of say it all the time. Like I didn't do a lure at $150. I just don't know if a lure is worth it. Um, I just, I don't, I don't want to see you guys. There's the odd time I'll, where I'll take a hit for a product and be like, guys, don't buy this. A lure is one of those ones where I know like the draft class before boxes are like a hundred dollars Canadian, 110, whatever they are, $20 Canadian. The new one being 150. I just, and the lure, I don't even know what 120 if it's worth it. Um, you know, you're essentially at this point looking for like a 16-bit uh, insert, but the rest of the stuff, it's sticker autos, everything else. Um, I just, like I said, I don't, I don't want to promote stuff where you guys go buy stuff um, if it doesn't make sense, uh, especially because sometimes you obviously get a good box and you're like, holy, I got this crazy box. It makes, you know, this was the best box of all time. I'm so happy about it. Um you know, and then people think, oh, I'm going to go buy this product. I, like I said, Allure just wasn't for me. Series 1, Series 2, it's, it's a flagship product. Product I'm always going to open those ones uh, for all the new young guns and everything else. Like I said, I'll have a full deep dive. Uh, probably for Monday morning, I'll release it. Um, I, I know I took a bunch of notes already for all of it. I just have to, like, sit down in front of you guys, have the conversation. Uh, I want to look up a couple other things too, but then I got to edit everything. And so it's just a little bit, but uh, I plan on doing that uh, probably Sunday night. So I'll have it up for Monday. So just give you guys an idea. And then like I said, Wednesday, first thing, Wednesday morning, uh, I'm an hour ahead of most people. Um, so I should be able to put that video out for, you know, 11 or 12, 1130 maybe uh, before noon uh, Atlantic time. So that's like 11 o'clock Eastern time. I should be able to have that video uh, edited and, and and put out so uh last card let's gonna thank you guys for watching hit the like hit the subscribe uh we got horizontal it's a horizontal I, don't, I haven't pulled a horizontal one of these yet rookie autograph materials so we're getting a double dip with the kind of a patch auto type of situation I think this is the numbered and this is going to be, oh, I thought it was going to be him. Fabian Zetterland. I thought I saw the, I saw the colors. I thought it was going to be Dawson Mercer again. Uh, Fabian Zetterland, little, I guess the Z is kind of working as the second part of the F too at the same time, but 09 out of 99 Fabian Zetterland. I like these patches. I think they're kind of a cool little insert. Some of these are stupid nasty. Um, I saw, who did I see? Tanner Janot got pulled um, by Breezy Breaks, and that was had this, like, 
had all like the tags and stuff. So it had the Adidas tags and stuff. Uh, the Cole Caulfield one one got pulled. It had Reebok tags in it. People were kind of uh, cranky because it is all player worn. Uh, if you guys look on the back of this, it's none of it's game worn. So Hawkman really an autograph. Uh, blah blah. Um, what does it say? Uh, having been worn by the feature player. So all it is is worn stuff. So apparently they had a really hard time getting the jerseys. Um, for the, a lot of these products, they had a hard time getting the newer Adidas jerseys um, for a lot of these. So they end up having to get Cole Caulfield to just wear. Um, like so none of this is game use stuff. It's game use stuff you don't really see a whole lot anymore, if, if ever. Um, so like I said, just to see the game you or the, the player worn it's not that big like he said he just would have worn it in a photo shoot and worn older jersey so yeah there's our uh, our two hits we got the not not a terrible box we got the double double in, double dipping on the drysdale uh, i was hoping that was going to be a little bigger too but the drysdale rookie gear the zetterland the cole cylinder zach jones so i'd say not our craziest box of all time definitely our second box was definitely the craziest but to pull two jamie drysdale which is it's kind of high end talent at D uh, for D for a up and coming young team with a nasty patch. And then the, it's, a, it's still $300. Am I going to make my money back? Probably not on this one, right? You need, you kind of need the base true rookie auto. Uh, you need to be a pretty good name to kind of do it. I think if you hit the, even him in the true, you might get closer to it, but, um, yeah, like I said, that's the risk you run. Uh, you have, like I said, all different kinds of low numbering parallels for this stuff. It's it's fun. Uh, it is just a little bit more expensive. Um, I just, I didn't know if I wanted to order or buy um, any Series 1 or Series 2 of the other products where I'm literally probably going to have, I think I'm going to do a full case of Series 1 uh, for 2023-24. So I'm going to have a ton of that to order. So a lot of money put into that to open up an entire case for you guys. Uh, I'll probably break it up and do, I don't know, a week or two uh, of videos. So you guys get ready for that. I'll try to mix in a couple other things. Um, but yeah, check that out. Also, all that stuff I will be pulling. Uh, if you guys want to see preview, you can just keep an eye on my eBay because pretty much everything that first day, uh, I end up doing a bunch of videos back to back to back to back to back. Um, just cause to be honest, a lot of that stuff is worth the most when you first pull it, right? So the first day that you pull an Askarov or you pull a, uh, Matthew Nyes or whoever you pull, they're going to be worth the most in those first like couple hours that first day after that first day or two, they're just going to keep on dropping in price. So I do open up all of those, um, boxes, uh, like within the first few hours i do the first video i record it i go back i you know edit it up get it out for you guys real quick but yeah keep an eye out for any of that stuff like i said if you guys ever see anything i pull check it out i always post stuff on instagram too uh and for eric from the bench i'll talk to you guys later bye guys